Right, rebuilding time. Pit's been cleaned. Um, I tend to use paraffin and a bit of wire wall to, you know, just to scrub these bits up. Uh, also, if you're, if you're unaware or just un unconfident about doing these, always do one at a time. So leave one in, clean one, refit it, then do the other. That way you can see which way these are to go and more importantly which way the springs operate. Okay, so basically on this one, I don't know what's best for you actually, um, you need to work out which angle the pull's going to go. So that one needs to go like that and you need the flat side the flat side there on the outer edge so it's going to go pretty much like so. The spring, once again you need to work out how the spring needs to flick back. Um, so that one is kicking itself open so that needs to be kicked open so basically so fiddly, so so fiddly job. Once again if you can see that the spring is sitting on there like so. Can you see that? There's the R spring. Line the hole up over the R. And then just try to, to just gently tease it in there. It goes eventually. Patience is a virtue. Line it up. Pop your pin in. All being well, that should have freed it up to get your clicky back. This one hasn't been done, that one was the one that's bad earlier. So repeat the process on that one and on the other part of the hub if necessary. If you do get into trouble, just drop me a line, I'll try and help you out. Cheers.